let's. <laughs> My friend sent me the notes from the class I was giving. Let's Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Maddie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming an advice video with my friends. Introduce yourselves. I am Victoria. I am Lee. And you guys asked me... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so you guys asked me for advice, so I'm going to give it to you, and so are my friends. And so I've like filmed some of these videos before. They always do really well. You guys always really like them. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be fun to bring them along with me so that you can get different perspectives. Also, Matt, also um, our friend hi. Matt is sitting up here. Matt, come say hi. He has to. I have to. He was in my other video. What's up? Matt's Matt. here. Matt Hello. didn't want to partake in the video. I don't like these videos. Matt has AirPods. Hey, Whoa. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first question is, is he single? Guys. Referring to Lee, and Lee literally wrote that question. Like, he is single. single. Yeah. Ladies, single. hit him up. Hit him like, up. He's Lee, single and what's ready. your Instagram? Yeah, well, and I'll answer his Instagram right here. Um, oh, ladies, please. Where are you him. putting it? Right here. I don't. Okay. Right, right, right here. I don't follow <laughs> him, but we're friends still. I used to not like him. That's why I don't follow. My him. aesthetic is like decent. It's pretty okay. good. It's not great. Okay, so okay. follow him. Sign his DMs. If don't you, know. If no, you no, feel no, like no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> so this question says, "What is dating like at Liberty?" Um, none of us are in a relationship, <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily like, apply to us in that way. But we see relationships all yes. over. Yes, Liberty like, has a huge emphasis on relationships. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, we, so we're in a series right now um, for our campus community, which is like Wednesday night. It's kind of like Wednesday night church, but it's on campus. But, um, kind of, I guess that's the best way to explain it. But, um, so we're in a series, like, about relationships. So I don't know, like Liberty just talks so much about relationships. So it's like if you're if you don't have a boyfriend, like you're about to. Do you know what it's I mean? It's like, like kind of good though, because like they're able to talk about like singleness and also relationships and like stuff like that. So you can kind of get like whatever like you can out of it, which is yeah. good. And honestly, it's like kind of nice to be single. Like I don't want a relationship. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like it's weird like seeing people in relationships, but at the same time, like it's really nice. To too. Like, at least in your freshman year, I feel like I feel like that's the best way to go. It's refreshing, so. like to have no drama, like yeah. from relationships, because that's everywhere. Everyone talks about it all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's like just hugely emphasized here. It really is. Like everybody is in a relationship. Dream car, one, two, three, go. Um, I want a yellow convertible Volkswagen, like Volkswagen bug. Dream car, one, two, three, go. G wagon, blacked out, black windows, <laughs> black rims. Ice out. Hey. <laughs> Ice out. Yeah. Lee. Jim Carton. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Jeep wagon here. Uh, and if I have a lot of money, uh, Lambo. <laughs> a lot of money. Wow. <laughs> I also stuttered. <laughs> okay, next question. We have them on Victoria's phone. Um, what are the best dorms for freshmen at Liberty? Commons one. Fact. <laughs> so That's he's in he Commons one. We're in Commons two. Mm -hmm. On different floors. Um, I feel like commons is really good for a freshman. I think I did say this in my last Q and A. Like the common areas make it really like easy to make friends. Yeah. I feel like commons is just like really good for freshman year. It is. Yeah. Commons wins for sure. It's I think it just depends on like how like thick you are. Like I couldn't do communal bathrooms, but like if you can do communal bathrooms and like the hill is really good for like community and stuff yeah. like that, and like the circle too. I wouldn't recommend like anything farther than like South Towers for girls, and that's like kind of older and it's really far from like everything. Um, yeah. But like commas are the most, any of them are like the most mo like modern and like the newest ones. So. It's nice, it's like a hotel. Like yeah. it really is. I mean, yeah. it's, it's sick. Yeah, my best friend Allie visited like a few weekends ago and like she was just like, she would not stop talking about how nice it was. And like, she was like, oh my gosh, like my dorm. And also like at Chapel Hill, like her dorms are like, she lives in a, um, what's the word? Um, Suite. Yeah, she lives in a suite, so it's like you have a door that goes into like a little like area, and then it's like room, 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 room. So I don't know. Like then you just get to know those people, and you don't know anybody on your hall. So yeah. I we don't. I don't think we have any dorms like that at Liberty. I mean, East is kind of similar to that. Yeah, yeah East is really far, and it's East basically like apartment um, yeah. style. So people like it, but I would recommend that for like if you're like a sophomore. Or if you have like a set group of friends. Mm -hmm. Like if you're like, like a junior in, yeah. and yeah. you don't want to move off campus yet. Which it's like eight people that live Or you play a club sport. East. If you play a club sport, East is fun. Yeah. Cause like you already know your guys coming in for preseason. Yeah, so if you have a friend group set, then go to that, so. Yeah. How would it work if a boyfriend or girlfriend came to Liberty considering the rules? So basically the rules, like we said before, like girls can't go and guys rooms, guys can't go and girls rooms. Mm -hmm. So there's like a common area that like all, like both genders can go in. So like if you come and visit, 
Oh, I'm filming a YouTube video. Come say hi. All right, come get in. All right, be in it. <laughs> hi, <Lauren. laughs> I like girls for playing assassin. How would, it, how would it work if a uh, boyfriend came to visit a girlfriend at Liberty Court? Where are they stay? Like, where like, are they what would they do? Probably in a friend's dorm. On yeah, the that's like for the most part what happens. Like, I know um, my friend Hannah, her no. boyfriend came like a week ago. <laughs> I mean, her, her boyfriend came like a week ago and he stayed with one of Hannah's friends, like mm -hmm. Hannah's guy friends. I know my roommate Abigail was talking about like her boyfriend visiting and like possibly staying with one of our friends' friends. boyfriends. So I don't know, like there's really easy ways to get around it. Yeah. Obviously they're not staying in your room. So they yeah, it's mainly just like for like sleeping purposes yeah. anyways, like you're gonna be with a person otherwise. So it's like not even that bad. It's and I know a lot of people will like, you know, if they have like the means for it, like they'll get like, the boyfriend will get like a hotel or something and like the girl will just like stay on campus obviously still. Um, but yeah, that's only if like they have nowhere else to stay, I guess, yeah. so. This question says, how do you get over someone you saw yourself marrying and fit all the crucial characteristics? I'm gonna step out on that one. I've never been in a relationship. Lee? Uh, I think that like, as far as like them fitting all the crucial characteristics, I think that like those change over time. Like mm -hmm. like everyone has like their set person or like what they what they think they're gonna marry. But like, like the point of relationships is to find the characteristics that you like in a person. Um, and I think like obviously if you're not meant to be you're not meant to be and, and yeah. that's God saying something in your life And like you can take the bad experiences from that relationship and put it towards a new relationship whenever you get it um, Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think it's definitely like well, it said I guess it said how do you get over it? Um, yeah, honestly like my friends in the middle of a breakup right now and it's like really affected her and I think like just like time will like yeah. help and like really just like pray about it and be like ask God to like fill that void yeah. and like God will like God will bring you the person that you're supposed to be with so and you won't have to worry about that like the characteristics yeah. I guess I feel like for me like I obviously have like I've dated people before but it's like I haven't been to the point where I'm like oh like I can see myself marrying them but still like getting over them it's like there's a thing is like where you can just be like God please take away these feelings yeah. you know what I mean like you can ask the Lord like God like this relationship isn't good for right now. Like I don't need to be in it right now. So like do whatever you can do to make me stop viewing them the way that I currently yeah. view them. And he can like do all things so we can yeah. definitely take away the things for them. For sure. So I don't know, just like praying to get over them. I mean, it works. It literally works. Yeah. <laughs> also like the time thing and taking like personal time. Cause like, yeah. I feel like when we're in relationships, like you pour so much into someone else and like yeah. you almost forget what it's like to be like, oh, I'm going to have a day where I just, you know, chill by myself and like mm -hmm. pour into myself. And, and that's okay. Like you don't always have to be pouring into another person. Yeah. So. How hard is it to adjust to college? I think it just depends on the type of person that you are. Yeah. I'm not a, like, I'm not like a homebody personally. Like I've never been like that type of person that like wants to be home all the time. Like I'm, I always want to be like on the go and everything. I didn't have like a super hard time adjusting. It's definitely different. Like, I think it depends on like where you live to like how far away from home you are and stuff like that. But I think it also depends on like the college and like the people that you're around too. Like with your adjust, like your adjustment process, so. People make it really easy here. Like, yeah. like the second you, see a bug? The second you pull up to campus, like you get swarmed by people, and it's like so crazy. Like literally, they they like take all your bags up for you. Mm -hmm. So like you step on campus, and they're like, ah, and like for me, I was like, like but like, and then like He's eventually, a I'm a yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but like too. eventually, Maddie just said it. Um, so Maddie was like, ah, yeah. but and I was like. <laughs> like, and Leo's like, okay, very, it's hard to explain. So basically, like, the, like was it the RAs? CGLs and RAs. Okay, yeah, CGLs and RAs, as soon as you get to campus, like, on move-in day, like, they literally come to your car and move all of your stuff up to your room for you, is what we're saying. The community at Liberty does the best possible job that they can do in order to make sure that, like everybody like finds their people as soon as possible like there's so many events it's really like i think it just depends on the school that you go to if you're going to come to liberty it's really easy adjustment i know some people that struggle with it but Lee, did you adjust well yeah as far as friend groups like don't don't cling to like those first couple people you meet because yeah. like everyone's <laughs> this isn't weird but like oh <laughs> she's one of the first people sorry, i met <laughs> maddie's like, my first friend okay. <laughs> everybody's kind of like fake in the beginning because they're like oh i need to make friends in college and so yeah. like you don't really get to see how people really are and then like three weeks in you're like holy crap i don't want to be friends with these people um so like don't like cling so hard and be like planning your like weddings and being like they're my best man at my wedding after two weeks of meeting them yeah. because it's not gonna happen chief like that ain't it yeah um yeah so just, just be like, really open with who you're like being friends with and like be like I can't. <laughs>
be like really like just like be open to everything like say yes to everything yeah like go like to everything that you can like hang out with as many people as you can it's, like, you can't be like not cool like there's no like you're not cool like you're not, like cool group i mean i guess no. there is like cool people but like like going to student activities like in high school that was like not cool like no one went to that but like here for it's you. like for me okay yes. maybe for me i don't know yeah. but like it was just like not cool to go to like school no it's for me yeah and, like, yeah but like here like, like that's cool it's like fun that? it's so cool just like the way that like the culture is here like for the most part it's like if somebody invites you to do something it's just like random so it's like sometimes i'll get invited to stuff and it's like they're walking out the door and like maddie you want to come like and i'm like yes like last night my friends went to cook out at like 11 30 and i was like okay i'm coming and i just like went with them and yeah. stuff like that that's like the memories that you're gonna look back on and be like oh my gosh those are when i met my best friends yeah so just like and college is fun yeah. for that because like it's literally so the other night i was like on my way to get ice cream with my friend and like our other friend just like hops in the car like he didn't even know what we were doing he like hops in the car and we just went to get ice cream like it's just was it like Bryce? no Bryce was already in the car it was Daniel he just like hops Aww. in the car Jane like yeah. yeah he was like where are we going guys like it's just like college is for that like yeah I don't know. and that's what it's like meant for like it's just like spontaneous plans that's what it all ends up being it's so yeah. freaking fun just like continue to say yes especially if you're a freshman say yes to plans you never know if you're gonna if you don't have fun it's not a big deal don't hang out with them again like it's not a big deal so yeah, yeah. this question says spill the tea about all of your exes slash reasons for breakups so i'm not going to do that out of respect thank for you them. next thank you next <laughs> i wish all of them the best but i'm not going to spill the tea Please. ben is going to come so long he doesn't know we're filming the video, but I just waved him over. Yeah, because I'm like, we're not long. Oh, man. Ben, do you want to say hi to my video? What's up, YouTube channel? Say your name. Come down we here. can give you a shout out on your Instagram. I would love that. Okay. My name's Ben. Um, He's single. Fun fact about you. Fun fact. He's really tall. What's your, what's your major? Industrial psychology. What's your height? Whoa. Fun fact about Ben is that he was going to play for Liberty and then he decides not to. For Basketball. what? Basketball. Seriously? Why are you? Tell me that, they're Wait. looking at you. Wait. You said it was Liberty. No. Ben, do you want to be in our advice video? Do you want to answer one question with us? Sure. This is a good question for Ben to um, join in on. The question is, um, how do you talk to boys? Lee, Ben? Am I going first? Yeah. Okay, um, how to talk to boys. I would say you have to make them laugh. Because funny girls Great. are the most attractive. Do you like girls who like make the first move? Nah, it's never. I mean, he's the one that slides in first. Not. <laughs> I mean, no, it's not like a turn off. <laughs> okay, Lee. Uh, think? like about that question, or the one before it, Both. or just in general. Do the first question first. Um, what was it? How do you talk to boys? I think like don't like just don't throw out like stupid little compliments and stuff like the very flirtatious okay i like your hat yeah just like who cares like actually talking to me about stuff that matters it's just like kind of annoying when yeah. like just it's like very basic and like 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 little comp uh, personally like i don't like just like little compliments like ah oh, your hair's so long or like that kind of stuff it's just like, like talk to me about something that matters no i mean just like have a real conversation and don't be fake yeah and then what was the second part of it do you like when girls slide in not slide in. That's gross. That's like going gross. into anybody's DMs, just like like guys especially. Yeah, why? It's just so. <laughs> it's just Maddie. Why? It's just so weird. Maddie, like why? like stay, why? stay out of everybody's why? DMs. It's odd. Like if you see them in person, walk up and be like, "Hello, my name is Lee. Hi, Victoria. Like hi, Lee. Like I mean, I would much like, rather I'm, a girl like walk up to me. And just like, like that shows confidence. Yeah, like, right. Sliding in the DMs is like almost like they're not confident enough right. to walk up to yeah. you in person and be like, "Hello," like like a normal human being that like yeah. people used to do before yeah. social media. No, oh, yeah. Well, if you don't see them, we'll find. I don't know. You know. Yeah, that's hard. Like, what if you've like met them before, but like you don't know if you're ever going to see them again, and you follow your <laughs> you don't know people. if you're ever going to see each other. I, it's just a hypothetical. Yeah. Well, then, like, no, you can DM them. I don't know if you DM them. Just don't be weird. I guess. I think like, be, like DM them and be like, hey, hey like you seem cool. Like want to get friends? lunch or something? Yeah, no. Like, I think that there's nothing wrong with asking a guy to go get coffee. Yeah, but it can't be like like the hey with like multiple wives or like weird oh, stuff. Oh yeah, like that. don't add, add yeah. Hey, add me on Snapchat. Hey, ew, that ew, ew, that makes no. me yeah. Like, I do not like. Hey, what's your Snapchat? Delete Snapchat, everybody. It's so pointless. It is pointless. I don't want to see the same girl's face thirty times on my Snapchat feed. It's just annoying. A king among men. Clap it up. This next question is a very good and very hard question. Yeah, but it says, <laughs> "How do you not be jealous of a friend's relationship?" Yeah, I'm bro. Not that's kind of like. 
I don't know when like there's a lot of people at Liberty that are in relationships so it's easy to like be like oh like I wish I had a relationship but I think like Lee said like knowing you're with and like being confident and like who you are who you are as a person and like finding your identity and like like God and not in like your identity in like another person or being like oh like I'm gonna find my identity in like another relationship or like mm -hmm. someone like judging someone else's relationship and being like oh that would be so nice to have and kind of like realizing that it's not all like butterflies and rainbows and being like okay like relationships are hard like and I should value the time that I have by myself like rather mm -hmm. than being like like yeah. being like I don't know like judging or being like oh like I really wish I had that relationship or like coveting someone else's relationship when like I know a lot of relationships that like I know of like it looks like that on the outside and then like when you like actually talk to the person they're like this is this sucks like this is really hard or like this is what's actually going on so I think that like just knowing your worth and like finding your identity in God and like not your identity in like a relationship that like could happen or someone else's relationship that like you don't really know about so yeah, I think it's just honestly trusting God's timing, like mm -hmm. above everything else. Like there's obviously the comparison aspect which Victoria talked about, and it's just like the timing of it all and being like, okay, this might be the season where God has for them to be in a relationship, but it's not the season for me. And yeah. just being like steadfast and like knowing that, and yeah. being like this is just the way that it is, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna chase after God as fast as I can, and if He places someone in my life, awesome. But if He doesn't, then I'm just gonna keep chasing Him and wait until it happens. But if it doesn't, yeah. So, okay. I don't know. Yeah. That's just where I'm at right now. Yeah, same. Like, so. hot take. Like, relationships aren't the ideal. Just saying. True. Like, thrown out there. Like, like the the like epitome of your life or like the peak of your life shouldn't be like having a relationship with yeah. some girl in college. Like, or a guy in college. Like, honestly, like, they're not that great. Yeah. I'm not A1 and I'm thriving and like, having the time. I'm, like, like it's like, I'm, I'm okay. No, but like, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm like actually having the time of my life and like, yeah. I wake up every morning and like, I get in the word. I don't have to send like a good morning text right yeah. away. And there's not all these expectations yeah. on my life. Like, I can hang out with like all these people and I don't have to be like, oh, I wonder what this person, like XYZ, I wonder what like they're thinking or, yeah. or like what their opinion on me. Like, I've, I've become so much more confident in like who I am and like, yeah. like why my characteristics are like, good and, and like I don't have to hold myself to another person's standard yeah. like that's the way it should be yeah yeah what do you think what do you think do you tell us I feel like relationships should be on kind of accident um but you shouldn't really be pursuing a relationship like, yeah. like ever like with all you have it should kind of be like you're walking with Jesus and you're pursuing him and then all of a sudden you got somebody right beside you that's doing the exact same thing yeah so, so. I keep looking back to that one like combo with Ben Stewart. Ben Stewart like, yeah, I, like I know you're so running, you're running at the same yeah. pace, and then you're like, oh hey, you're cute. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there was this like pastor that came and spoke it, but that's what we're fun too. But yeah, I think that's a good answer to that question. This question is a good one. It says, how do you? I like know it. I'm not reading it, but it says, how do you get over a guy that you still wait? How do you get over a guy that's showing zero effort but you still really like him? Um, were like, did they were they dating like in the hypothetical situation? Are they like dating? I don't think and they're dating. Up? No, it's I like they're oh, like the girl sees them. a guy and I think like, they're just talking, but it's like he girl. doesn't really like. I don't know. That's just the impression that I got. Ah, uh, mm, girl. Again, it comes to the. It, it's like the same thing as like getting over like a toxic person. You just have to like pray yourself out of it and just like. Like continually put yourself in situations where you're not with him. Like if you're going to a group yeah. situation, you know he's gonna be there. Don't go. Like, yeah. like, like, it's like psychologically proven that the more time you spend with someone, the more you start to like, like love them and like, mm -hmm. like value them. And that's like a thing. Like, so if you're spending less and less time with him, like your brain is gonna start like, not really like craving it as much. Yeah. You know what I also, mean? just like. Don't try to like hit them up or like yeah. don't stop with them. Don't text them. Like, don't respond. I mean, don't don't follow rude. them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Like just like just like delete them from like your social media life, and that would make it easier. Especially if you don't have to see them in person. Like just like avoid seeing them in person if it's gonna bother you that much. And like then you'll get to a point where you can see them and be like, oh, lol. <laughs> Remember when I liked you? Bye. <laughs> like <laughs> and like I've done that. Like I'm like oh like I used to be like oh you're cute, and then I would just like stop thinking about it, and I was like oh bye. Like I see them and I laugh. <laughs> like but yeah. yeah if it's like draining like if you're if you're in a relationship or like a friendship that's like draining to you and, and like you texting them and like you're not getting anything reciprocated back and it's all just like it's one-sided and it just sucks and like you're actually like affected by it you need to stop and like take time to yourself again like 
I don't know. I feel like a lot of my answers have been like, take time to yourself, know your own worth. But like, it's so true. And like, a lot of our issues are rooted in the fact that like, we don't like slow, like, Sayla, we don't like Sayla. slow down. We don't take time to reflect on like our own lives and our relationship with Christ. Because like, in this society, we are just like, go, 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 go all the time. And we don't have time. We are, we think we don't have time to just be like, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to spend a day by myself. Like, it's okay to spend all day in your room by yourself. Like, you're not a freak if you do that. Like, it's perfectly fine. Like, I do it. Maybe I'm a freak because I do it, but like I do it and it's great and it's one of the like my favorite practices. Yeah. So that's good. That's good. That is all the questions that we have time for today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my friends for being in my video. This was so last minute. Like I just didn't have a video for Sunday. But I'm going to be filming a room tour ASAP Rocky. I promise. I just haven't had time where it's like nobody's in the room and it's also clean at the same time so yeah um make sure to follow me on all my social medias i will link like their and social subscribe. medias and you guys will get clout wow. hopefully i'm just kidding um like and subscribe <laughs> down below and yes. the notifications bell i've never actually said that on any of my outros i have but, the notifications on so yeah um love you guys so much i will see you guys next weekend with another new video bye, bye.